KM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of HCAM News Live. I am your host, Tom Nappy. HCAM News Live airs right here on HCAM every Thursday from 6.30 until 7 p.m. On today's edition of HCAM News, we have the latest Hiller Sports highlights, including a look at the Hopkinton Girls Hockey Senior Night the annual Hopkinton Pre-K Lottery took place, and the select board approved the hiring of a new administrative assistant. But first, the select board recently welcomed Stephanie Clifton to the Hopkinton Town Hall staff. Mr. Chair, uh, through you, I am respectfully requesting the board affirm the town manager's appointment of Stephanie Clifton as the assistant town accountant. Here's is a beautiful story. Uh, she joined the town first as a per diem temporary project specialist back in November, 2016. She was then hired full-time in October, 2017 as an administrative assistant in the finance department. Uh, spending part of her time supporting the treasurer collector's office and part of her time supporting the payroll department. Uh, in that role, uh, she has proved to be uh, a committed, hardworking town hall employee. Always excellent in customer service, willing to help, and overall a positive influence on all of us here at Town Hall. Suffice to say, when she came in in 2016 as a project specialist, she worked in the town manager's office. Uh, interviewing for this position, uh, she clearly, clearly demonstrated her desire to learn, uh, her desire to contribute at a higher level to the community. Uh, and in fact, she told us that one day and Tima here, I hope you're hearing this. One day, she hopes to become a chief financial officer. Uh, we, with that, again, I am respectfully requesting the board affirm the town manager's appointment, Stephanie, as the assistant town accountant. Uh, we went through the regular interview process. The position was advertised. There were um, several uh, 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 applicants um, from within as well as from uh, outside, externally. Um, we, we had two rounds of interviews. Um, she then came out as the candidate recommended for appointment to the town manager, and she will be working under Ben Sweeney. So I will request a motion to affirm the town manager's appointment of Stephanie Clifton as assistant town accountant. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, Mr. Nasrullah, how do you vote? Nasrullah, yes. Mr. Herr? Herr, yes. Ms. Lafreniere? Lafreniere, uh, yes. Ms. Ritterbush? Ritterbush, yes. Stone, yes. Um, welcome to the town, well, welcome to the assistant town accountant position, uh, Ms. Clifton. The select board also approved the hiring of an administrative assistant to the town finance department. Here's a look at what the position entails. Uh, will we have to lift it or is, does it not count? Is it only for this year and not count for the future year? Um, yeah, I just wonder how that's gonna work. I'm for this position, but I need to know. <laughs> Through the chair, we are in the planning phase and when we get to the actual hire, we will comply with whatever processes or procedures are in place at that time. As for now, we're simply planning for the hiring. 
So let me let me jump in if I could, Mr. Kamala, on that. So right now, this position does not exist. Exist, Mary Jo. It would exist if this goes through the budget process, right. goes through appropriations, goes to town meeting, gets adopted by town meeting as part of the overall budget package, and then FY22 it would kick in. Then we wouldn't have to raise the hiring increase because town meeting will have made that decision, and they are the ultimate authority on all these things. So. Um, it wouldn't be a hiring freeze increase for us per se. The annual Hopkinton pre-K lottery took place. Here's a look. Okay, hello everyone. HCAM let us know there might have been some difficulty with the audio on YouTube. So we're going to review the numbers that were identified for the lottery. And how we have done that is we used random.org we identified the numbers for the lottery for our three-year-old program. We had 70 applicants and 22 openings. So I'm going to read the top 22 numbers so that you can check what you may have at home. And also please keep in mind that there is one set of twins here, so it may end up being only the first 21 numbers that are offered a spot. So these are the numbers that were the lottery drew for the three-year-old program. 41, 30, 53, 22, 70, 20, 14, 1, 50, 51, 6, 24, 46, 36, 54, 7, 66, 33, 44, 64, 68, 63. Thank you. Um, so families that might not be one of those numbers, please be patient. We often access our wait list for that program. And now I will review. Again, HCAM shared there was difficulty with the audio. So these are the numbers that were chosen in the four-year-old lottery. We have 13 openings and we had 54 applicants for these openings. The numbers are 54, 44, 21, 11, 25, 6, 37, 15, 16, 40, 27, 30, 8. So those were the top numbers for the lottery spots. Again, Kim Sullivan, our preschool coordinator, has notified families of their numbers. The entire roster will be posted online tomorrow on our website for families to view. This was our highest year ever for lottery applicants, so we appreciate your interest in our program. We think very highly of it, and that lets us know that you do as well at home. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. Good night. We are going to take a short break on this edition of HCAM News. Coming up, we'll have the latest Hiller sports highlights, including a look at girls hockey senior night, plus a whole lot more. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as Map Free Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance. Hopkinton Hillers winter sports teams were in action this past week, and we have a whole lot of highlights to show you. Here is an extensive look at the week that was in Hillers sports, plus a look at the girls hockey senior night. On Monday, February 8th, Hiller girls hockey battled Dedham. The Marauders netted a pair of goals in the first period. 
Kicked over to Crowley. Looking for a shot, Rister, and that's a goal. How about that, Melee Crowley from long distance. Sent over by Crowley. Here comes Dedham, Steck trying to charge in. Nice move there to the net, shot goal. Alexis Steck, the assistant captain, makes it two to nothing, Dedham. Despite good goaltending and defense by the Hopkinton co-op team, Dedham nets another goal in the second half and takes the game three to nothing. There's another one, and that ends up deflecting off of Madeline McLeish and into the net. Unbelievable. Wow. On Wednesday, February 10th, Hiller's boys basketball took on Holliston. In the JV game, Zach Hyman netted eight first quarter points, and the Hillers led 12 to nine after the first. Yes, zone championship, you could call it. They'll be competing against the best of the best from uh, the five or six teams that they compete against. Carson feeds it out to Hyman, up for three, and he knocks it down. Zach Hyman feeling it. In the second quarter, Wyatt Stevens struck for three field goals and helped the Hillers to a 28-22 lead heading into the halftime break. Up for three from up top, knocking it down, Wyatt Stevens. Speaking of... The Hillers outscored Holliston in the third quarter, 13-9, and led 41 to 31 heading into the final eight minutes. With the rebound along the corner. Here comes the Hillers off the turnover. Hicks takes it to the rack up with the left hand and in. The Hillers offense continued to roll in the fourth quarter and they took the game 53 to 39. That was on Rowan Smith, that's his second. Now we have a steal. Driving in, Hyman up with the left hand, count it. Zach Hyman making it happen. Feeds it out to Keefe. Keefe gonna drive it in, kicks it out to Schnur, up for three, count it. Swishes it through. In the first quarter of the varsity game, the Hillers outscored Holliston 12 to eight. I believe it is the second year for Coach Champagne as Casper drives in and finishes. It's his second field goal of the game. In the second quarter, Matt Cooper knocked down eight points for Hopkinton. In the 16-9 quarter, Hillers led 28-17 at the half. And on the entry. And it's kept in bounds, but taken by Schnur, and he goes up and in. In the third quarter, the Hillers had five different point scorers and rallied for a 21-16 quarter and took a 49 to 33 lead into the fourth. Point lead, but still plenty of time left to go. Merkin over to Spencer Merkin. And Keith got a tip on that attempted pass. Tahi came up with it. Cooper, gets it out to Keith, up for three. Count it, swishes it through. The Hillers knocked down 10 free throws in the fourth quarter and took the game 62 to 54. The Alpine Ski Group Championship took place on Thursday, February 11th. Here's a look. Able to pull uh, five tenths out of your time on that hill. Matthias Niff on the right. Very nice. Smoking. Tori Fisher on the left. Come on, Tori. 808, I think. Again, we can't see there the good go. numbers until they stand up at the bottom. And then we verify. All right. Nathan Foster on the right. I think our cookies got covered in snow. Yeah. Well, I'll keep them cold. There's Nathan. Holly Berry on the left. Nice. There goes Alley. Hmm, the lift has stopped. That's not good. Yeah, no, that, that makes it hard to keep the race going. You got quite a backup here. Yeah. Come Andrew Hurley, he just came through on the right. The girls took second place and the boys took third place.
Congratulations on a great alpine ski season by the Hillers. On Friday, February 12th, Hillers girls basketball took on Medway in the JV game. The Hillers took a 10-8 lead in the first quarter. Flanagan feeds it over to Davies. Around the perimeter they go, up for three. Dacey, and she knocks it down. In the second quarter, Elena Davies scored nine points in the 15-8 quarter to help the Hillers to a 25-16 halftime lead. Uh, between Hopkinton and Medway, they should certainly be uh, pretty close games that go back and forth, as these two teams typically do. Knocking down a three is Elena Davies. The Hillers had several different point scores in the third quarter. 11 point Hillers lead, 438 and counting left to go in the third quarter. Up for a three and good is Emma Dacey. Her second three bucket of the game. Hopkinton would end up taking the JV game 46 to 36 over Medway. The Hillers driving in, up and in with the left hand goes Kelsey McCoy. In the varsity game on Friday, February 12th, Lauren Beach dropped nine second quarter points to help Medway to a 24 to 17 halftime lead. Over to the elbow to Regan. Now to long ball, now to the corner. Beach for three and she knocks it down. Lauren Beach with her first points of the game. In the third quarter, the Hillers had four different point scorers. Make that Maggie Hedstrom, excuse me. And a nice feed over to Caroline Connell, who goes up and in. The Medway offense was just too potent as Lauren Beach dropped 14 points for the Mustangs and Maggie Regan had 12 in the Medway, 46 to 36 win over the Hillers. On Saturday, February 13th, Hiller co-op girls hockey battled Medway. Before the game, they celebrated senior night. Here's a look. It was a gritty defensive battle. Westwood netted a goal with 2.22 left in the first half. There's a shot out in front and that's put in. 
With the initial shot, it was Hannah Blumquist and then Kendall Blumquist waiting right in front of the net, able to pop it in and make it one to nothing. The Hillers responded with just over 11 seconds left in the game. A nice send off the go. swing hammer. Dusky's gone. The goalie has been pulled to bring on the extra attacker. That shot just wide. Last opportunity here for Hopkins and Dover Sherboy. That's off the goalie, out in front of the net, that's put in! It's a goal! Hopkins and Dover Sherboy! Wow. Sophia Mazzucchelli pops it in. Assists Merkel as Kelly Mer Kaylee Merkel was able to get it in front of the net. Holy and Sophia Mazzucchelli able to put that one in. Sophomore Sophia Mazzucchelli nets the game tying goal with a great assist from Kaylee Merkel and goaltender Kristen McCluskey records 55 saves as the Hillers and Westwood end the senior day battle in a one to one tie. A very impressive tie for the Hopkinton Dover Sherborne co op girls hockey team. We'll have a look at the final week of Hiller's Winter Sports on next week's edition of HCAM News Live. A couple events coming up that you should know about. The Massachusetts Breast Cancer Coalition is hosting Bike for Prevention, a virtual event that will take place April 19th through the 25th. Visit www.mbcc.org slash bike for more details. Our picture of the week from February 16th, Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Boys Basketball warming up before defeating Ashland 60-56 to in the winter season finale. Congratulations to the Hillers on a great season and a great win against Crosstown rival Ashland. Here's a look at the town government meetings coming up. Of course, you can find the whole list at hopkintonma.gov. On Tuesday, February 23rd at 6 p.m., we'll have the select board meeting on HCAM TV. On Thursday, February 25th at 7 p.m., we'll have the school committee meeting on HCAM Ed. And then on Tuesday, February 23rd at 7 p.m., you can catch the Conservation Commission meeting on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. The Hopkinton Hillers Alpine Ski Team recently joined us. Here's a look. We have the Hopkinton Hillers Alpine Ski Team, and uh, we have the captains joining us as well as the coaches. So let's go around the table and we'll have everyone introduce themselves and talk about what they do on the team We'll start off with Nancy. Hi, I'm Coach Nancy. I have been the head coach of the Hopkins Ski Team for five years. And I work with new racers and advanced racers every winter to see how far we can push it and how fast we can get on the hill. Terrific. Uh, and how about Daniel? Hi, this is Dan Barry. I'm the assistant coach. I help out Nancy. I've been working side by side with Nancy since the team formed uh, five years ago. And uh, I help Nancy sort of optimize the time on the hill for the kids so that the racers are getting the best out of their training time on the hill and help coordination on the races as well. Excellent. And um, how about C. Barry? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Kate. I'm a senior at Hoppington High School, and this is my second year being a captain um, on the ski team. Terrific. Uh, Jackson. Hi, I'm Jackson. I'm one of three captains, first year captain, four year racer for high school, and I'm excited to be on snow. Terrific. And last but not least, Tori. Hi, I'm Tori. I'm a junior, and this is my second year on the team, and I'm a captain this year. Excellent. So uh, first off to um, the captains out there, how long have you been skiing for? Uh, what got you into skiing? Um, just talk about your background in uh, skiing a little bit. Uh, we'll start off with Kate. 
Um, I have been skiing for pretty much as long as I can remember. Um, I got into skiing um, because my dad, he was a skier um, when he grew up and through his life. So that's how I got into skiing. Um, and then I got into ski racing at a pretty young age as well. And then I just stuck with it all these years. Terrific. How about you, Jackson? Uh, pretty much after I started walking, my mom taught me how to ski. Uh, true story, NASCAR. And then I kind of, we moved to New England. There's not very good snow here. So we decided the best way to maintain skiing was to join racing. So around six or seven, I joined the Wachusa Mountain Race Team. And then as soon as I entered high school, the new team was starting up and I thought it was a great opportunity to combine my love of high school sports with my love of skiing. All right. How about Tori? Um, so my story is a little bit different. I was a swimmer for a really long time and I had skied recreationally and for fun um, since I was pretty little. But um, after my freshman year swimming for the high school swim team, I decided that I was getting a little bored with swimming. So Nancy encouraged me to join the ski team and I'm back this year and I'm really loving it. Terrific. All right. Well, um, this ski program just got started up recently. Uh, for the coaches, could you talk about the history of the program a little bit and how it ended up getting started? Sure. Dan and I have been around since the uh, first idea of having a ski team for high school. Um, we had a bunch of parents from uh, Wachusett Mountain Race Team in the area, and we had little ones at the time. And we thought it would be fun when they got big enough for high school that it would be great to have a high school ski program. So we started pursuing what that would mean and how to start one. And it was about a three year um, process of learning how to start a high school team with MIAA. We went to many meetings, talked to a lot of uh, administrators, talked to a lot of the leagues around the area to find out if we could be a good fit and what it would take to start a team. Um, Hopkinton um, worked through the process with us and five years ago we got the green light from them and we got a green light from our league and um, ski ward and we just started rolling from there. Um, I've been coaching for about 10 years now so it was an easy fit to help out and get a coach for the high school and work with these kids from all different backgrounds to give them a winter sport that's outside the building and with a lot of fresh air around. Believe it or not, we are out of time for this edition of HCAM News Live. Don't worry, next Thursday at 6.30 p.m., we'll be back to bring you the latest happenings in Hopkinton. As always, thanks for tuning in. Take care, and we'll talk to you again soon.